Welcome to episode two of my Peptide Spotlight series featuring Cagrilinta. In this episode, we'll go over why people use it, how it works, results from clinical trials, common side effects, standard dosing schedule, some peptides that synergize well with it, and some peptides you might want to avoid while taking it. Cagrilinta is used to help with obesity and weight loss, to reduce appetite, and to smooth out blood sugar spikes. Cagrilinta is an amylin analog, meaning it mimics the natural hormone amylin which is released by the pancreas alongside insulin when we eat. Amylin helps slow gastric emptying, reduce appetite by signaling satiation to the brain, and blunt post-meal blood sugar spikes. By replicating these effects, cagrilentide helps people feel full faster, stay full longer, and manage their blood sugar more effectively. These effects are very similar to a GLP-1, however, they are obtained through a different pathway. During phase one and two clinical trials, Cagrilentide showed impressive results for weight loss. On average, participants lost up to 6 to 11% of their body weight, depending on the dose, and up to 23% when combined with semaglutide. Additionally, blood sugar was reduced by nearly 1%. Cagrilentide was well received overall. However, some of the most common side effects were nausea, diarrhea, vomiting, constipation, some irritation at the injection site, and low blood sugar. These side effects were generally mild to moderate and tended to improve over time. To minimize side effects, start with a low dose and titrate up slowly. If you're having side effects, you might also try splitting the weekly dose into two smaller injections. Hagrilentide is administered via subcutaneous injection and has a half-life of about 7-8 to eight days, making it an ideal once-weekly injection. However, if you experience side effects or feel the effects tapering before your next dose, you can try splitting your dose into two smaller injections per week. I've included an example dosing schedule below, but make sure to consult your medical provider to find out what works best for you. Some peptides that I think could pair well with cagrilentide are low-dose GLP-1s, which synergizes to reduce appetite, pesamorlin, which helps reduce visceral fat, AOD-9604, which enhances fat burning, ipamorlin and CJT-125, which can help preserve muscle and speed up recovery after workouts, and lastly, BPC-157, which can help promote gut healing if you experience any digestive side effects. Some peptides that I think you should avoid pairing with cagrilentide are high-dose GLP-1s, as combining them can increase nausea and raise the risk of gastroparesis. Lastly, avoid stacking with other glucose-lowering peptides unless closely monitored, because it could increase the risk of low blood sugar. I hope you found this information helpful. Let me know in the comments which peptide you would like me to spotlight next. Thanks for watching.